Hey guys, how's it going? Kermode here. Welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I want to show you guys the power of audio rate modulation inside of Serum. Although this is somewhat limited, it is still something you can unlock that opens up a big possibility in terms of sound design. Super quickly before we get into the video, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And I do want to mention our sponsor today, Sonarworks. Sonarworks creates a really cool piece of software that actually tries to correct and improve problems in your home studio because of natural problems in the shape and the way the sound bounces around. I find it incredibly useful for my speaker setup. Being in a home studio, there's a lot of problems and it really helps with those problems. So if you want to check them out, I'm going to leave them in the description of this video. But without further ado, let's just dive right into it. So here we are, I have Serum open here. And for this technique, it's gonna be really useful if you just use one note. So these types of patches, it's kind of hard to key track it and make the audio rate modulation work properly with one note. But that's really okay for genres like dubstep where you're gonna be creating these basses, resampling them, manipulating them anyways. So what I have here is a really low E. And the first step in creating this is you need a modulator that is actually moving at the same rate as that or a nice harmonic that works with that. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head down to LFO1 and we're gonna take it off of a synced BPM rate. Now I know that a low E is 41.2 Hertz and this is something you can look up and check out what happens. I'm gonna modulate something like the sync mode here. I'm gonna modulate this with the LFO and let's get it to sync up. So there we go, we're playing 41.2 Hertz and we're synced up and now we're modulating this at the same rate as our sounds. So this is just one example. Now check out what happens when we start to change this. starts to take on a different timbre based off how much and how long it's at its full value etc. Now let's find a cool wavetable that this could work with. So I'm going to go into my user wavetables and let's do some wavetable modulation at audio rate. See notice once I start playing something other than the E it doesn't work but with the E That sounds really nice. Now let's add maybe a clean sub in here. But let's have this, let's do some amplitude modulation at the rate of audio rate. That sounds really good. Now for the most consistency with this technique, what I like to do is if you set the LFO to trigger mode and random off in the phase start position, you're gonna get a really consistent result. See how every time I start it, it's the same? So now I can move the phase of this based off where I want. I really like the texture of that. And if you really wanna go crazy, you can even do phase modulation. That sounds really good. And again, at any point, you can change your shape and see what happens. That's sick. And just to give you some more examples, some things you could do, we could do filter cutoff modulation. So let's come up with like a cool filter shape. Maybe we'll do like a low high pass, something like this that we can get talking. And let's move this at the rate of audio rate. So that's always an option with this sound, I'm gonna keep it off though. And maybe what I'll do is I'm actually just gonna use this filter 
to add an actual wobble into the sound. So let's do this one not at audio rate. So you can always combine both. What are some other things you could do? Well, distortion drive modulation is quite cool. So what you can do is you can crank the drive and try out different types. I feel like that's discrete, subtle. You can even do things like stereo modulation at audio rate. And let's just finish off the patch. Let's make this a proper growl now we have that we have this really cool bass, B-A-S-E, not B-A-S-S, -S, although it is a pretty cool bass. Let's just get a... finish off with the classic OTT. And now what's really cool, if we just change this LFO, you take on a completely different sound. There we go. So I hope that's getting you guys thinking that you can actually do audio rate modulation inside of Serum. It is a little limited, but you can see there are some really cool results with it and I'm really happy with this patch. So there we go guys. I hope that gives you some more sound design options inside of Serum. If you guys wanna support the channel, check out our sponsor Sonarworks and if you haven't subscribed, please do. So thanks again guys, I'm Kermode. I'll be back soon with another tutorial. Peace.